Just a couple of days ago, Bennington hit Jordan Stahl way outside of his crease on a play that if it were the other way around would have left everyone up in arms for hitting a goalie. Now he was taking on a Stahl who had about 50 pounds on Bennington, so not exactly the best idea and he does end up getting the worst of it. What I thought was hilarious actually was Stahl's reaction to the whole thing. Fast forward to last night and he did this. Now at full speed watching the game, I'll admit this looked really bad. The call on the ice was a delayed one but was ultimately called as a double minor for high sticking. This seemed to just be a guess though, and a strategic one, as a double minor is reviewable, which after reviewing and seeing in slow motion, you can see the butt end of Bennington's stick got nowhere near Zucker. Now, the way this works is that while a penalty can be retracted, the call cannot be changed. So instead of being a roughing penalty or interference like it should have been, Bennington essentially just gets away with one due to a bad initial call. Now, shortly after, Zucker was left absolutely wide open in front of the net with days to shoot this one, and he got his revenge as Pittsburgh chases Bennington early in the second after scoring four. Bennington, on his way out, had some words for the Penguins bench that got him a 10-minute misconduct for inciting. Now, being that he was pulled, this misconduct didn't exactly matter, but after the hit he tried to put on stall just two nights ago, and then obviously the reputation he already has, this incident just added to his poor rep around the league. I think fans, even Blues fans, are starting to grow tired of Bennington's antics. So, as a Penguins fan, my initial feeling was that I am getting tired of seeing this guy act like an absolute man-child on the ice. But then I caught myself. While I do think Bennington's actions as of late are showing a clear lack of respect for the safety of other players on the ice, and that is an issue, I truthfully think the NHL has a bigger issue. That is, that whenever a player does anything outside of what is deemed appropriate or traditional in the NHL, they are vilified or put down for it immediately. I don't like that. If anything, I want to see more of that. Who are these guys on the ice, really? Even guys like Crosby or Ovechkin, who have watched throughout their entire career, I feel like I hardly even know who they are. That's not the case with guys like Tom Brady or LeBron James, for instance. They're celebrated as teammates, but also as individuals. Now how about Connor McDavid? The greatest player in the world right now, what do we really see outside of him on the ice? The NHL needs to do a better job of marketing their stars. So that brings me back to guys like Bennington or Marshan. They have so much personality that it feels more like the NHL just can't even contain them, rather than being an intentional product of the NHL. Now I can't say I like either of these guys, I really don't, but what I do like is their hard play, their willingness to be themselves a little more old school, and the fact that we at least know them for who they are. They leave it all on the ice, and whether you like them or not, you can at least see their personality. I think hockey media as a whole has fallen short of finding charismatic, interesting people to be a part of their overall product. But these kind of NHL players obviously exist, just look at Biz Nasty and Ryan Whitney and what they're doing. They've highlighted numerous guys currently and formerly in the NHL and many have shown just how much personalities they have. Why isn't the NHL embracing this? Instead, the NHL continues its conservative and traditional approach, which I'm not even saying needs to go away, not by any means, but why not add to it, complement it? There's just so much untapped potential. 